Hello and welcome. It's 2023 governorship elections and we're still talking about uh, the governorship and state assembly elections that happen across uh, various states in Nigeria. And uh, we're speaking to our correspondents, telling us what's happening at collation centers and what they've observed so far uh, during the elections. I have with me on standby Charlie Aguam. He's a correspondent in Bauchi. Hello, Charlie. Can you hear me? Hello, Charlie. Can you hear me? All right, uh, uh, kindly give us your report uh, on how the elections went in Bauchi State. Um, the election in Bauchi State generally has been um, judged peaceful. Um, candidates have, um, have given their respective uh, individual statements about how the election is, is going and how they feel about the election. So the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, who also is the governor of Bauchi State, he said he, he commended INEC for the process of the electoral of the electoral process and um, um, expressed hope that um, the, the election would go peacefully. And he also said that um, whatever result, whatever outcome um, from the, that, uh, whatever well, uh, the outcome that he, uh, he would accept the outcome of the election, no matter where it goes. But on the other hand, the um, APC has, uh, APC candidates have said that uh, uh, there is um, allegation of vote buying. They alleged that there is vote buying in some place, in some polling units. Of course, yesterday um, there was a viral video that um, had um, supposedly a commissioner under the state government uh, by the name Adamu um, Manusuru, the Commissioner of Youth and Sports. Um, uh, engaged in food by where he was. He was allegedly seen in the video because he later denied it. He was allegedly, allegedly seen in the video sharing money to electorate the day before the election. Although he has come out to deny that he was that he's not the person in the video. So um, the ABC candidates have said that they are, they are, they are, that there are issues of food buying across the land and breadth of the state. That's what's happening right now. And also the um the third candidate, NMP, 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 NMP candidate has expressed hope that um the election would um favor him. He did not really say whether or not there was the election was being uh, um uh, uh, sponsored by any any he did not really any allegations to as to whether an election was performing or not. He just expressed hope that he would perform in the election. He would he was expressing it to win. Were there any reports of electoral violence in the state? Um, generally, the election has been peaceful. In the parts I visited, I didn't see any electoral violence. The electorates were going about their, um, carrying out their responsibility in um, orderly manner. So, so, so far, no reports of electoral violence because everybody is expecting that their candidates would win. All right, do people come out in mass this time around to vote? Generally speaking, um, there is voter apathy in this um, part of the country, Bauchi State, um, for reasons that um, I, I do not know. But um, generally, it's, 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 it's seen that you know, the, most, some people that I have um, interviewed have said that um, the last presidential election discouraged them because what they thought were, they, were, they, were, um, they were going to see was not what they did. So they blamed the INEC for not being an unbiased buyer in the process. So generally, most of them, so most people didn't go out to vote this time because they felt their votes would not count the way it did in the presidential election. So what is happening now at uh, the State Coalition Center? Uh, any reports so far? Yes, um, there's one re report so far, and the um, results from um, Bogoro local government, the local government of former speaker Yakubu Dugara. Um, and it stands right now, from the results that was announced, um, PDP polled 16,000 votes, Why APC, PDP polled 16,000 votes, the party of the governor who is contesting for the uh, global elections. 
the APC, when APC put 10,000 votes, uh, was to what we did 16,000, uh, uh, you have to get the 16,000 that the PDT got. So, um, people are, you know, but generally, uh, uh, we've got, I know we've also seen um, results from various polling units across, although Bogoro seems to be the only local government that, that, local government that has announced their results, their uh, the coalition center. So, but, but there, there are other uh, results from the various places where PDP are leading and also the APC are leading other places. So, no, it's, it's still a long, it's still, it's still, it's still, it's still a long call to see whether or not the APC is going to win or PDP is going to win. So, it, 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 can, it can swing any, any way, any way that is to the PDP side or to the APC side. All right, uh, what's currently happening now at the collation center? Um, currently, um, the results have not started coming to the state collation center. What is happening right now is that, uh, what's happening right now is that, uh, um, they are they are still collecting results um, at um, local government collation centers. So it's not really announced who the winner is at um, various uh, local government collection centers, apart from Google and just mentioned so people are waiting they're expecting and they are they are hoping that um it will be to be a success all right any other information you think we need to know charlie um not quite except that uh, we just have to keep our fingers crossed i hope that um the election pans out you know in the way that um the peace in Bauchi will not be jeopardized because we are we're hoping that this election will not turn out um, to be bloody one mm. like um most people have predicted mm. all right thank you so much uh, charlie Aguam. that was our correspondent in Bauchi state uh, giving us insightful reports on what is happening there thank you so much also would we'll keep in touch with you as uh, the collation processes uh, goes on and also remember that uh, for you to find out more on what's happening you can go to our website www.vanguardngr.com to find out more also, you can keep tabs on our social media handles displayed on your screen. I am Precious Chukudi and thank you for watching.